What up? This is Rama Screen, and in the anticipation of Mother Android arriving December 17th, only on Hulu, I'm here talking with the score composers of this new apocalyptic film, Michelle Bursky and Kevin Henthorne. How are you, Michelle and Kevin? Good, how are you? Thanks for having us. Good, good. Congratulations on the film, and congratulations on your engagement, I hear. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. You guys got engaged during the process of make, composing this film score, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's one of the most interesting press notes I've ever read. It says that <laughs> you guys embarked on a cross country journey while writing music for the film. Okay, I gotta ask. So, whose idea was it to do that, and were you concerned about doing that during the pandemic? Was there any worry at, at all? Well, uh, we were we were always gonna move uh, from New York to LA. Uh, we didn't really envision it being uh, during a pandemic or uh, trying to score a movie either. Um, but uh, we were always gonna do the track. Uh, it was certainly interesting during a pandemic, um, but we actually ended up in Tucson, Arizona for a bit at Michelle's parents' house where we scored a lot of the demos, uh, a lot of which we used in, in the film. Um, and that's, that's kind of how we, how we did it. I'm so curious before we get to the music, is it like, on an RV? Do you guys camp out? No, we no. we drove in like a regular car, basically <laughs> from New York to Tucson, Arizona, where we like stayed for a couple months at you know <laughs> at the house. So it wasn't that backcountry, but <laughs> <laughs> that still sounds adventurous. So. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm getting ahead of myself here because I was fascinated by your process there. Uh, literally go on a road trip uh, to find inspiration for the score. Uh, so did writer director uh, Mattson Tomlin initially approach you about this project or did you have to pitch yourself or pitch your ideas to him? Well, he he mentioned it. I, I went to film school with Mattson um, and he kind of mentioned that uh, he, he might consider us. I kind of, uh, called BS on it and because you know people say whatever uh, so we ended up uh, putting together a bunch of music from the script and pitching ourselves for it um, and that's how we ended up getting it. Prior to this though you both have done um, a few films and um, perhaps short films uh, but Mother Android uh, is sort of your big one isn't it and was it daunting was it challenging taking this on? Yeah um so we'd done one other feature before called Asking For It. So that was, you know, it was an indie feature. Um, and this one was definitely the most, you know, professional <laughs> big time one that we've done. So it was a little, definitely a little daunting, but we started really early, as Kevin mentioned, we started with the uh, script. So we were writing for months and months and months before we actually landed the job <laughs> and started really doing it. So we had that, you know, all that work behind us that made it much easier. Obviously, Mother Android uh, has sci-fi elements, uh, and it's also a bit of a pulse-pounding thriller, especially when the characters are chased after by those androids through the forest. Um, so let me ask you about some of the uh, musical instruments that you incorporated uh, for, the, for those sequences. Did you utilize piano, orchestral, or did you mostly use uh, emphasize on synthesizer to get that sci-fi sounds to it? Or was it a combination of both? Talk to me about that whole thing. Yeah, so when Mattson first approached us about scoring it, he did say that he wanted a very intimate sound. He didn't want to score the androids, he wanted to score the couple. So okay. it, was, it was an intimate sound. He really wanted it to sound like two people banging on pots and pans in a room. That's all he gave us. And so we were like, okay. So we took literally pots and pans <laughs> and we uh, sampled a bunch of them. We used a lot of like, again, we were kind of in transit. So we were staying at my parents' house in Arizona and didn't really have a real studio set up. So we we literally took a microphone into the kitchen, uh, got the ticking of the toaster oven. We hit pots and pans. We used Ooh. those as the foundation of the beats. So a lot of found sounds. And then we kind of also talked about, okay, if we're, if we're scoring a film about this couple that are trapped in the woods um, hiding, what would they have access to? They wouldn't have access to big orchestral sounds. They would have access to maybe a guitar, maybe, you know, a ukulele, maybe, maybe yeah. a piano. It was, it was very, and, and voice. So both of our voices are in the film a lot. Um, oh. So we use, you know, the human voice and very, you know, organic instruments. And also we use instruments sort of in new ways. Um, 
Kevin. A lot of bowed uh, acoustic guitar, uh, which is just a nice, it, it's a nice warm sound. It's kind of like a cross between uh, like an accordion and a bagpipe almost. It doesn't, I don't know, it, ju it just sounds like nice and droney. So we did a lot of that. Um, yeah. yeah, and then we recorded piano in a studio and we added, you know, we added some strings, very minimal strings um, to bigger moments and some sampled beats. Um, but the foundation of the score is all very acoustic um, with electroacoustic. So we use some synthesizers as well. Did Matt let you just kind of run with it or did you have to go back and forth between what, what he wanted to have in his mind? I think we were really in unison because uh, when we got the script, we wrote like 20 cues um, mm. for the film and a lot of them like he was listening to on set. So it was baked into his process. Um, so we were really on the same page. Um, and then as we kind of went forward, like things definitely changed a little bit. But um, overall, we were we had a lot of freedom and uh, he also pushed us in different directions we wouldn't have uh, thought we could go. And then like the product just kept evolving. It's really cool. As I'm winding down, um, couples who work together stay together. Do you agree with that concept? And uh, what, what happens when there's disagreements between both of you working on a project? We just fight it out. <laughs> I mean, okay, I agree with that comment. I mean, I hope. Who knows? Yeah, right? I agree with that. <laughs> so far, this film made us stronger. Did. We'll see about the next one. Um, but <laughs> I think it's it's kind of a unique situation because in when you're working with a collaborator who you're not super close with, there's a lot, you know, you're, I find myself a little bit more reserved and I don't necessarily want to like say exactly what I think. But with Kevin, we've been together for <laughs> almost eight years. I can say whatever I want. Yeah. And so we just kind of <laughs> battle it out. And at the end of the day, we make each other so much stronger because we bring totally different skill sets to the table. Yeah. Um, so I agree. <laughs> Couples who work together stay together. I would agree. For the well. most part. <laughs> Fun hypothetical, uh, hypothetical question here. What would you do in a robot uprising? Meaning what are the survival steps that you'll take if right now we are in the middle of a robot apocalypse? I think I would be completely screwed because I am very, I have very bad eyesight. And if I lost... I mean, if I lost my glasses, I would be just wandering around in the woods. Um, what would you take with you, though? Um, that's a good question. I think both of us would be pretty screwed, honestly. We just die. <laughs> we're, like, we're city kids. We just die pretty quickly. <laughs> well, hopefully, epically, right? Epic death. Yeah. yeah. So, um, uh, last question: uh, What's next on your horizon? Are you working on another project? What can you tease us about that? Uh, not another project right now, but uh, I'm also in a uh, band called Kate Francis, so I'm working on a, a new album, so I'm doing that separately, and um, we're just creating work together. And, um, music, working on some new pitches that we can't necessarily talk about, but <laughs> <laughs> hoping for, you know, bright horizons in 2022. Yeah. All right. For my fans at home, everybody go check out Mother Android arriving December 17th, only on Hulu. Michelle and Kevin, thank you for talking to me and congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks so much.